Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea by Martine Costi. On January 23, 1960, six foot waves rocked the surface seven miles above the Marialta Trench in the Pacific Ocean. Carefully, Jacques Picard and Donald Walsh rowed a small rubber boat toward the Trieste. This craft would soon take them seven miles down to the deepest part of the ocean's floor. No one had ever explored the Mariana Trench before. It was so deep that the weight of the miles of water above it would crush some crafts. The Trieste was built to withstand such pressure, however, so the men inside should be safe on their underwater journey. During the descent, the men on the Trieste would communicate by radio with the surface. Diagram of the Trieste Water ballast tanks, gasoline tanks, guide rope, lead ballast hopper, entrance tunnel, observation gondola, window, lead ballast hopper, flood lamps, gasoline tanks, and propellers. Shortly after 8 a.m., Picard and Walsh sat jammed in the Trieste observation gondola. The space was so small that they could barely move, but they were ready. Water from the ocean filled the water ballast tanks. Slowly, the Trieste began traveling down to the trench. At 340 feet, Picard released gasoline from the tanks, letting water fill them instead. Water weighs more than, water weighs more than gasoline, so this made the craft sink farther into the darkness. An hour later, and a mile farther down, the men saw plankton. These are tiny ocean creatures that glow in specks of yellowish green. Two hours later, they were more than five miles down, and there was no sign of life. A little past noon, they are about a half mile from the bottom. Then they heard a small explosion. Tension flooded the observation gondola, but nothing seemed wrong, so they agreed to keep going. Just before one o'clock, they reached the bottom of the Mariana Trench. They had landed where no other human had ever been. They flashed lights and saw a flat white fish about a foot long that Picard described as a soul. Little red shrimps swam in front of their window. Both discoveries were groundbreaking. Now humans knew that animals lived on the deepest part of the ocean floor. Then the men turned on an inside light. Picard spotted the cause of the earlier noise. It was a cracked window. Now he became more worried about their safety. Picard released 800 pounds of lead pellets from the ballast chamber. Releasing this weight caused the Trieste to move upwards. Picard and Walsh could hear people speaking on the radio, but for some reason, no one could hear them speaking back. At 5 p.m., the Trieste emerged. No one had heard Picard on the wireless for hours, so the people above did not know what to expect. The crews on both ships watched breathlessly for moment for movement from the Trieste. They waited for 15 long minutes. Then suddenly, the two men emerged unharmed. They had traveled to the deepest part of the ocean and made history. The Descent of the Trieste 8 a.m. Seal door shuts. Water floods the antechambers. 340 feet. Picard releases gasoline. 10 a.m. 2,400 feet. Men change into dry clothing. Eat chocolate. 12 p.m. 32,000 feet. Explosion heard. 2 p.m. 35,800 feet. Reaches bottom. Picard's last message on wireless. Picard releases lead pellets begins ascent 4 p.m. Uh, 6 p.m. Trieste resurfaces. Read the sentences. It was so deep that the weight of the miles of water above it would crush most cr crafts. The Trieste was built to withstand such pressure, however, so the men inside could be should be safe on their underwater journey. During the descent, the men on the Trieste would communicate by radio with the surface. A synonym is a word that means the same or nearly the same of another word. What is the synonym of descent? A. Dive. B. Journey. C. Exploration. D. Elevate. Number two. What does the diagram do to help the reader's understanding of Trieste? A. It shows you the location and sizes of the tanks and hoppers compared with the observation gondola in which the men were sitting. 
B, it tells you the specific amounts of water, gasoline, and lead pellets needed to travel to the Mariana Trench and back again. C, it shows you how the tanks and the hoppers worked to bring in the water and then get rid of the gasoline and the lead pellets. D, it tells you why the journey to the Mariana Trench could not have been completed without the tanks and the hoppers. Number three, the author included a timeline. What are, what are the most likely reasons why the author wrote the passage this way? Choose two answers. A, it describes a radio conversation between the Trieste and the surface. B, it helps the reader understand Picard and Walsh's journey to the Mariana Trench. C, it shows the timing of the Trieste's journey to the trench and back. D, it identifies the cause of the explosion heard by the Trieste's crew. E, it points out events that were not described in the passage, like when they ate chocolate. Number four, how is the second paragraph different from the ones that come after in the passage? A, it helps a reader understand the importance of the Trieste, while the other paragraphs help a reader understand how Jax Picard and Donald Walsh proceeded with the underwater journey. B. It describes the descending of the Trieste, while other paragraphs describe the ascending of the Trieste. C. It helps a reader understand the importance of the Trieste, while other paragraphs help a reader understand why other underwater devices didn't work in the past. D. It describes the history of the Trieste, while the other paragraphs describe how modern underwater devices are designed.